so I'll make a 2-1 victory against the side who sat fifth in the table before yeah. kick-off today. Um, how would you analyse that match? Uh, well, first of all, I'm delighted. Obviously, everyone's gone around and doing their jobs the way we would have expected. Um, it's always going to be a tough game. Obviously, the preparation was with three regards to how they would play. Looking at them on, on YouTube and whatnot, it's difficult because there's only three games on there. So you're trying to find out bits of information. But again, we were prepared for a, a couple of different scenarios of how we do things. Um, but it was only really about us and how we'd respond to what they did. And I thought we played well. Um, first half, it was good. We were in control of the game. Um, probably had a couple more chances that we didn't take. Um, and that more of, more of the same in the second half. And then obviously got myself into a nice little two year lead. But then we, we couldn't probably have a 15 minute spell. But that happens every game where teams will have a spell. We had a 15 minute spell where we didn't really play and we were kind of almost hanging on. Um, while, you know, after they scored that, that goal, um, and really shouldn't have been the case, but the uh, lads have got to give themselves a little bit of a shame. Um, got back to doing their jobs again and scrapped and showed an awful lot of um, quality, really, to see the game out. And like you say, you've definitely controlled most of the game, but is it still a little bit frustrating to see you have that sort of 15 minute or so spell where you kind of let them back into it? I think that that's football. I was talking to Colin before the game, and we kind of used that phrase a couple of times there, obviously, their manager. Um, it's an Northern League. Everyone's capable of beating everybody else. Everyone's going to have spells, and it's how you deal with the spells, whether it's you in with the ball, and whether you finish, you create and finish chances, and how you defend when you haven't got it. Um, yeah, games are there and flow week in and week out, but there'll always be other spells when you're up against it, and teams are throwing things at you. You can kind of surprise me. And again, when they're losing, they're going to go direct, which is what they did, they were very direct, so they made us defend. Um, and it was during that spell that we just had to kind of get composed, get back together, because the gaps between the defence and the midfield stopped being a bit big. And I was getting that message across to Louis. And um, so we, we jumped back in and, and called in front of him, and uh, we were, we were doing very well, and you know, we got there in the end. And um, do you reckon you should have had? The chance to you know get to a goal margin with um, with a second penalty. That was humble. I think the new rules is if it hits your hand in the box, uh, and the referee has to give that. Uh, I don't really criticise the referees, but a lot. There was a couple of, a couple of soft yellow cards, a couple of soft decisions that didn't go our way, and I can say that because it's not so good because we've won, we've got three points. But I was a little bit disappointed with one or two things that went against us. And um, Dibs' free kick, um, we knew we had it, he had it in his lock because we yeah. seen him do it on Tuesday, but you don't expect him to score two of the same one in a row, do you? No, I think he said the one the lads are, I think, kind of a one in ten. Um, and I was surprised when I saw it the other night, it was, a, it was a fantastic strike against Burton. But as soon as he lined up the day, I actually fancied him because I'd seen him do it. I thought it was definitely his lock, he's so confident. The fact that he wants the ball when there's another free kick specialist standing next to him, which is Mitch, um, and he wants the ball, I think, well, He's going to hit the target and he was 40 yards out almost and it was a wonderful free kick, absolutely fantastic. And possibly one of the negatives to come out of today, Luke Sullivan has been in great form for us recently but he's gone off injured early in the first half, what's the indication on that? Um, the early indications from the physio is 6 to 8 weeks, um, I think it's a bad cut on the, in the, it's the knee cap so it's a kind of all over place as well. So I would imagine they're going to have to have his, his legs going to have to be sort of stabilised um, so it doesn't burst the stitches really, so that's, that's not good news. Um, the good thing is the lads didn't let it affect them because there was a stoppage for about four or five minutes um, and we kind of got at it and, and kept going and playing well really. Yeah, and that's three wins in a row now, you've really got yourselves back in form, haven't you? I don't think it's a case of we've been out of form and I know everything is the same, it's a case of we, we've had the odd little wall. That's probably the best way. At the end of the day, we're top of the league, so we're not off form, otherwise you wouldn't be top of the league. But we've had a wobble. Um, we know the form, the game was a bad one. Um, today was a one that you wouldn't, you'd rather win. If you're going to choose to lose, you lose against a team who are not going to win the league in thought of it. You don't want to lose to a team who are potentially going to challenge you for it. Like I said at the start here, yeah, the what, fifth, if they won their games in hand, and winning the deal against us would have put them in a great position. In fact, winning all their games now would have put them top of the league. Likewise with Stockton. So we just got to kind of dig in and get the points, which we did today. So we've had a wobble in the odd game. Um, yeah, last three games we've done really well. I thought the game was good. Kevin 
I was really pleased with the lads. Um, likewise, the couple got outstanding on Tuesday night. Uh, in the day, it's, it's, it's ebbed and flowed. There'd be different stages of the game where we've been in control, we've been in the back foot. But it's probably, uh, I think we've, we've got through it. And good teams, the teams are really things to have to do that. Finally, back in action on Tuesday in the League Cup again against Division 2 side Chesterley Street. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts heading into that? Again, um, I'm sure our Apple will speak, me and Kevin will speak, um, and I'm sure Kevin will want to play lads who haven't been involved much the same as Tuesday night, and that's not being disrespectful for anybody. It's we've got a very strong squad, we want to get minutes in the players. Um, and give everyone games because the league is our priority um, and the FA Vols and we want to play as many and many for those games. So there'll be changes on Tuesday night, I've no, I've no doubt. But again, as I said last week, we go there to win the game, that's that's it. We're going there to win, we're, we're going to win every game. Don't play for draws and certainly don't even contemplate defeats.